How's it going guys? Noah here and welcome back for another video. Today is gonna be a good one. I don't know what I'm gonna call this series. Um, it's gonna be a very sporadic series. It won't be something that I do quite often. But essentially I bought in a bunch of cards either off eBay, Twitter, uh, flea markets. And then I'm gonna go and show you guys what I got. So today we have this envelope. We have these two envelopes. And then I got something that my friend picked up for me this past weekend at a like a flea market type thing and um it's gonna be good it's the reason why it's last i'll show you guys at the very end we'll do that one last so first one up is this this one is one of give me one of my like investments all these cards by the way as long as they're in really good condition which they should be i will be getting graded soon but this is a good one let's get that right there it's a first bowman chrome mookie bets card I do want to take it out of here and double check because I do see some uh, some scratches, but I want I think that should be just on the uh, just on the uh, top loader. Well, unfortunately, this wasn't put in a sleeve, so that's very bad. So let's toss that in a sleeve. Um, hold up one second. Put this bad boy in a sleeve and let's take a look so the edges look good unfortunately it does look like they have some scrapes on it so i probably won't get this graded that really stinks honestly it was probably because it was literally just put in this with no sleeve for some reason i don't know why uh centering doesn't look too bad corners are pretty good but like i said unfortunately if you see there are some scratches on the foil, it looks like. Um, maybe I can get them cleaned off, I'm not sure. I have to go, it could also be the sleeve that I have it in, actually, with those... Actually, hold on, let me... I think this was an old sleeve I have. Let me... Let me grab a freshie. And let's see, actually, this card might be able to get graded. I got this for $20. I got it for actually for a steal. At the time, these first Bowman ones are going for, like, 30 to, like, 60 bucks. So I guess the scratches maybe aren't actually there. I might have been just that. I'm, I'll probably get this graded. Uh, I'd probably see getting like a 9 or a 10 or whatnot. But that is the first card of the video. Nice first Bowman of Mookie Bet. Something I'll be sitting on for quite a while. He's finally starting to light it up with uh, the Dodgers. Now I'm not sure which one this is. Oh, this is a pretty cool one. I got this off of eBay. Let's toss this over here. I mean, not eBay, sorry, off of Twitter. Uh, it's a basketball card. Let me make sure my information isn't written on here. Okay, it's not. We're going to open it upside down. And it is a Tim Duncan Upper Deck Rookie card. It's called Rookie Discovery. I got the, like I said, off of uh, Twitter. I don't remember, honestly, what I paid for it. Um... I want to say maybe like 10 bucks. I think at 10 bucks sounds about right. But we will take a look at it. Pretty pretty good condition honestly. So this card I'll probably also get graded at some point. So those are the first two. Next up, uh, if you've watched the series, you know there's one rookie card. I've been trying to Get. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't want to ruin the card here, but he taped up the whole envelope, which I guess is good because I don't have to worry about it getting bent. But I know I spent ten dollars on this one. I also got this on uh, Twitter as well. Come on, I'm gonna have to cut it. Hold up. The card's at the very bottom, so I'm not scared about hurting it. There we go. And as you can see, he's peeking through right there. It is a. Four Lamar Jackson rookie card. Uh, as you guys know, I've been trying to pull one of his rookie cards for a while. So this one was up on Twitter and I was able to snag it. These have been going for on eBay for like 15, 20 bucks, ungraded. So getting it for 10 was a pretty good deal. Uh, the corners, that top corner might be a little dings. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look at it more fully after but centering is really good on it it looks in pretty good shape so 
Those are the three pickups from uh, eBay and Twitter. Unfortunately, I am waiting on one card, and that's the reason why I pushed this series off for so long. Uh, I am waiting on... Well, I guess I, I might as well tell you. I don't even know if I'm going to be getting it now. So I bought a DeAndre Hopkins rookie auto relic card for $35 off of Twitter. And uh, I bought it in... Uh, let's see. July 30th. And uh, it is now August 24th, I think, at time of recording. And I've yet to receive it. Uh, I've messaged the person I bought it from. But he hasn't even been active on Twitter since, like, the 11th of August. And I messaged him, I think it was a week, like, the 13th or something like that. And then I messaged him again on Friday. So, who knows? Hopefully, I'll get it back. If not, I'm going to have to be doing some uh, some work to get my money back. Which kind of stinks because I really wanted that card. But here is the creme to la creme. Whew. This is a 92-93 NBA Topps Basketball complete set of Series 1 and 2. And uh, you also get the 12 Topps Gold cards in there. My friend paid $60 and I just Venmoed him $60. Uh, we're going to open it. And uh, there's a couple cards we are going to be looking for. And 100% I'm going to get it graded as long as it's in good shape. So I am very excited on this. He bought this for me on Saturday. And then it's someone I work with. So he gave it to me today. And I rushed home and recorded this video for you guys. Let's see. I'm going to have to cut the tape off. Oh, I, I love this. I don't know. It's kind of weird, I guess. But, like, the smell of older cards. I, I could be alone in this. But uh, I don't know. I like the vintage... I guess smelt. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. That should be all the tape. There we go. Now there's one. I gotta be very careful because I want to make sure I don't ruin the special card that's in here. Let's see. These should be all in new. Oh, they're not in order. So we'll just quickly go through all of these. There's one of the gold cards. That is the Robert Horry rookie card. Go through these really quick. There's a Todd Day gold card. We got the Byron Houston gold card. Oh, I'm getting excited. We got the Christian Latner 92 gold card. Going through the rest of these. Oh, there we go. We got another one, the Lafonso Ellis. And I'm getting excited. Hopefully, I'm assuming you guys know what I'm going to get. The 92 gold of uh, Robert Worden. We got the Sean Rooks gold card. We got the Lee Mayberry. We got the Literal Green. My boy making a return. We got the Malik Seal. Sealy. We got the Matt Greger, 92 uh, gold card. The Oliver Miller. We got the lateral, uh, the Trell Sprewell, sorry, gold card. I don't know why I called them lateral. Oh, come on, I'm trying to be very gentle. I actually didn't want to go through all that. I, th I thought they were all going to be in order. Got a nice Larry Bird right there. That's why I'm going through them kind of quick. I'll go through and pick out some of the other. Most of the cards really I don't go for much. The Trell Sprewell is not too bad. And there's a couple other rookie cards in here. But there is one rookie card in particular. There is the Kevin Duckworth gold plated card right there. Oh, actually, it's all all the uh, gold name cards. You got the AC Green, Avery Johnson, William Bedford, Harold Miner. That one over there. Got the Jim Less. Got the Paul Presley. Uh, I already said that one. Got the Gerald Patio. The Elmore Spencer. What else we got? We got the Brad Daughtry. Kevin McHale. Clyde Drexler. And we got some of these Beam Team cards. Let's put those off to the side. Where is he? He's hiding here somewhere. We got Kiki Vandewedgie. Go through these very quickly. I know he is in here. 
question is where I know what number it is. I think it's 382 or 352 or something like that. But um, these apparently aren't in order, which is kind of weird. So, whatever. I think it actually it might be by team, maybe. I'm not sure. There's another one of the gold 92 cards. Let's keep on looking where... Oh, there's magic. Man, I'm getting worried. I'm I'm pretty sure I did my research before I had my friend pick this up for me. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure the card I am looking for is in here. Oh, I really hope it is. I'll be very upset at myself if I messed up on here. But I know it's in here. I just got to find it. Keep on, keep on going on. It's all those 92 draft pick cards. Another draft gold card. Another one. You got the Jeff Hornick. Another draft card. Those draft cards, I keep almost skipping. I might have skipped some already. Uh, there's my boy Manute Gold. Put that one aside for the PC. Got John Stockton right there. Carl Maloon. Keep on keeping on. We got the Reggie Stims. We got a Michael Jordan All Star card. Corey Williams. Man, is it really going to be like the last card? Maybe I should go from the other way. Hold on. A couple of these fell over and oh, it's in, he's in there. I see him. Alrighty, so we're going to get to him in this stack. Thankfully, I did look before I flipped all those over because he was in that stack. Da 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 Where is he? He is coming up. I saw him. I know for a fact. Here he comes. Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. This card is one millionth percent getting graded. This is literally the whole reason why I bought this box. The 92 draft pick, Shaquille O'Neal. Very careful. Actually, hold on. I don't like that sleeve. I think that's the gross sleeve. Checking the centering looks really good. Looks really good on the back, too. I'm feeling pretty confident. Let me put that in there. Put this into a top loader. It's going to be a longer video, but that's fine. There it is. The Shaq rookie card. Like I said, centering looks pretty dang good on the front. Looks pretty good on the back. Corners look pretty good. That should be a PSA 10. We'll quickly go through all of these. That goes for like, I think there was one that sold recently for like 800 bucks. So, um, yeah, hopefully that is a PSA 10. We'll just quickly go through here to see if there's any other goodies in here. I don't think so. Pretty much that Shaq card is the only other one. Or if you can get the Shaq with like the uh, gold nameplate on it. Also goes for a good amount. But I think that's it. We'll go through this stack real quickly. See if we got anything else hiding in here. There's probably some of those draft cards. I'll go back and find them all. Uh, getting to the end. And that, I'll just that call it there. If I see anything else, I'll put it at the end. But these are the, like, if you can get any of these cards, um, not the beam team, but these gold name cards, I believe this was all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, there's still two more left. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there was one in there, actually, 11. Hold on, do we have... Hold up, this video is, like, really long, but you're supposed to get 12 of those gold name cards, and I think we only had 11. Well, unless I'm being really dumb, which is a high possibility for anyone that watches me. Let me check. I think I only took one out of this pile. I'm pretty confident. I am super, super confident. Unless I literally missed it, which I guess is possible. 
but no, right there. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there's supposed to be twelve. I'll make a cut right here, and I'm gonna try to find that other one. So hold on. I found it. It was it was in this stack. So um, yeah, I'll just end it there because the only other thing we could find, if we could find a shack with one of these. Uh, yeah, it goes for a lot. It's like five or six grand a PSA 10, but didn't get one, but that is fine. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.